Do you play Star Wars Destiny? Are you looking for the last few cards for your collection? Are you trying to find the character you need to round out your tournament deck? VTTV has teamed up with 401 Games to provide you with 10% off your next order of Star Wars Destiny singles. It's pretty simple. Just go to 401games.ca and enter the code VTTVDestiny10 when you check out. That's VTTVDestiny10 when you place your next order at 401games.ca for 10% off all Star Wars Destiny singles. Hello, welcome to round one in progress from this Game Night Kit tournament for Star Wars Destiny from 401 Games in Toronto. Uh, we had a little bit of a problem with the stream connection, so we've just restarted. Uh, we have uh, myself, Travis. Uh, I'm Victor. Uh, we run VTTV, and uh, there's only a few people who showed up for the event today, but we're hoping to stream a few games for you and then uh, get them up on YouTube afterwards. Okay, so we got, uh, by request, I think we have Andrew on stream, and his opponent, John. Andrew uh, is running Han Ray, which actually is something I haven't been seeing a lot of lately in the Toronto meta. Uh, John running Palpatine, of course, which uh, had some success at the face-to-face -face game store championship last, or two months ago, rather. And it looks like uh, the battlefield was that was chosen was Andrews, the one with the Starship Graveyard. And I think we just ended up with the, the conclusion of round one here with uh, Palpatine uh, starting off with three damage onto Ray before she was able to get that Force Illusion on onto that character. So now at the start of round two. Uh, looks like John has the initiative here with the, uh, the control of the battlefield. With a Sith Holocron, follows by a Force Push with his first action. <coughs> now this, uh, this Palpatine deck, I think, it's, it's quite a bit different than the ones that I'm used to. Like, Force Push hasn't been... Uh, an upgrade that I've seen in, in a lot of decks, and usually the, the, the strategy with Palpatine is to just get the dice out early and try to resolve them as quickly as possible and then save your upgrades for later because you kind of want to dodge as much dice mitigation from the opponent as possible. I think you're trying to avoid the two cost upgrades uh, yeah. since there's so much removal right now. Mm -hmm. And it uh, looks like Andrew got some action cheating down with that uh, hold up blaster. Uh, manages to roll out both Han and Ray. It looks like uh, looks like he's got potential three resources on the table. To be able to pay for that two range damage on Andrew's side. And of course, every side on Palpatine is decent, but uh, two shields is, is I think welcome in this scenario. Yeah, two damage, and two discard too, which which may not come into play that much because of the Starship Graveyard, but uh, at least it comes with that two damage. So Andrew does decide to take the three resources. Yep. Um, Palpatine resolves the damage against Ray. Andrew decides to take the shields off Han uh, for the extra two damage for resolving a die. Yeah, and that's smart because I mean, uh, you know, with any any ambush card, Han can always regenerate those shields. So it's just kind of like free damage prevention, uh, free healing, really. Great. And uh, obviously Palpatine's focusing on uh, Ray at the moment, so getting the damage split is always useful. Yeah, you, you want to you wanna focus on Ray, not just for the action cheating aspect, I think, but uh, also you just got to be wary now that Andrew has a significant amount of money. He could just drop that second chance onto Han and then kind of all your work trying to focus down Han has kind of been undone in that respect. So, uh, Loth, Cat, and Mouse, which is really good against uh, Palpatine, normally. So, Andrew chooses to get rid of that Force Push to this card, oh, okay. and uh, he only has one die, so... Yeah, there's that second the chance I was talking about, actually, so... Uh, good on John for deciding to focus on Ray first. I'm surprised, uh, knowing that he had that in his hand, he wasn't putting just all of the damage from Palpatine onto mm -hmm. Han. So he did still throw another damage over on Ray. All right, so going to the next round, I see a, I think it's a high ground that John just drew. Uh, so that allows him to remove a die showing a damage face, I think. And if you control the battlefield, you can also do a one damage to a character. So John, this time, instead of uh, deciding to put an upgrade onto Palpatine, decides to roll out first. Uh, gets a force push special, and I believe that allows John to turn uh, any two dice to any side. 
I think it is, the special yeah. special night ability. Uh, two discard side and a one resource side for Palpatine. So uh, with a lot of Palpatine decks, they run Rise Again. So seeing some money is always welcome in this regard. Yeah, so Andrew overwrites the Boldo Blaster, so that's an ambush action that he has and an action from Ray's ability, so two actions suspended right. and didn't have to pay any resources. So now he's just deciding what to do with the, the other two actions. Okay, yeah, sorry about that, Dan. I think we're going to try to increase the volume. So here's a rollout uh, for Andrew's first action with Ray. Not a really good roll, there's two blanks there. Uh, with a discard side, and then Andrew's got to remind John, yeah, you got one more action here. And now here comes the rollout by Han. And one resource and a blank. So if John's got to feel your anger right now, <laughs> uh, that would be an awesome time to use it, I think. So yeah, chat, let us know if uh, the volume's at an adequate level now. I think we've turned things up just a little bit. Here's a resolution of Pal Palpatine's two discard sides. Gets rid of a disarm and one other card I didn't see. But now, of course, there has to be that two damage. Uh, let's see if John actually remembers to deal the two. And I think that's a, that's a missed opportunity there. He's doing it. Oh, no, okay, he remembers now. Yeah, so, yep. Two on to. Two on to Ray. So, Ray's sitting at two HP left. Uh, John has an opportunity to finish, I think, finish off Ray with the focus into force pushes. Or, yeah, Palpatine makes more sense there. Three damage side. So, Andrew discards the force lighting from John's hand. Yeah. Uh, John had a lot of resources, so it's. And obviously. With the Holocron, it might be something we could take for free at some point. It's some a little bit more action shooting, so Bowcaster on to Ray. Now does does Bowcaster has redeploy, right? Yeah, okay, so that, that makes sense. Okay, so there there's the uh, three damage going into Ray, but Force Solution blocks it. Uh, that's actually a really good uh, series of discards for John there, getting rid of both fiber knives, but I mean of course with the Starship Graveyard, Andrew can always get those back. And then uh, with the two extra damage, it goes on to Han. It's not looking great for Andrew here, there's still not very much yeah. damage on Palpatine. So he's going to claim the battlefield, he's going to hope to yeah, try to yeah, get an Get a hold up blaster out next turn. Hopefully he's going to use that to maybe get a little bit more, maybe try to burst out some damage uh, before before Ray falls down. Although I, maybe I would have uh, bought back the forced illusion in this scenario. I think I would have tried, because basically you want to get it out on Ray, try to get her to use whatever damage she rolls, and just recognize that it's probably going to bounce back to you to on. So John with four resources going into the start of this next turn. Um, doesn't quite need a rise again just yet, but I do see a feel your anger. So if uh, Andrew blanks out on his rolls at this time, John can basically use it as a time walk effect. Uh, got three range to can use. Oh no, it's a plus. Never yeah, plus three range. He's got nothing he can use. Uh, he can take the money if he wants to, but he does have one more action because of the ambush on on the holdout blaster. Oh, why would you roll in Han? Roll on Han? You got two road redeploys. Okay, well, I mean, this is a decent roll here. I think it's the two two range damage side pairs with the yeah. the three, uh, and you know, blue blue villain is known for not having any sort of like significant action cheating aside from force speed. So uh, this is a bit of a break for Andrew here, especially with the roll that John just got. So I think right now Andrew, if he wants to, can resolve uh, the damage sides. I think it's a total of five damage he can put on Palpatine right now if he wants to. We see
see a repost in, uh, in Andrew's hand as well. Uh, of course, that works really well with uh, Han's shield ability. And so he go does decide to go ahead and do the damage here. Of course, with the Force Illusion, that blocks a total of 5 damage. 5 is not an insignificant insignificant amount of cards to mill from both the deck. Both rise again. And, uh, uh, yeah, both Given rise how many rolls. resources John had, he's likely going to be able to play them. On the other hand, he is in no risk of imminent death, so... Uses those four discard. Yeah, it's good. Don't worry about it like this. Let's just pretend that it was face up. I can leave it. Ah, this is a top card in front of No. Um... There's a bunch of money, you know, kind of like maybe setting up to uh, chain together a bunch of second chances. So now, while Andrew's big hit kind of got blocked that turn by John's, uh, by John's Force Illusion, the fact that the Rise Agains have gone, and now that Andrew has a bunch of money to rebuy second chances if he wants to uh, for the foreseeable future, I think that over the long game, Andrew might have the advantage here. Of course, uh, Palpatine's dice, uh, especially when there's only one character for for Palpatine to focus on on the opponent's side of the board, I mean, the damage can add up fairly quickly. So unless Andrew has a bunch of mitigation as well, I don't think it's going to be well. So he, he returns after claiming the battlefield, and he decides to return the DL, I think it's called the DL-44 Heavy Blaster Pistol, which is great because, I mean, that's uh, just basically uh, kind of like a late game piece in addition to being a piece of removal to kind of ramp up Han's um, potential for damage. And it also has Ambush, which gives Han an additional shield. So John takes even more resources with that uh, plus anything from Lure of, the, Lure of the Force. Lure of Power, right? Oh, Lure of Power is not a not a uh, ability. Victor's just going to go over and correct that. So thank you for uh, pointing that out. Uh, thank you for catching that, Emilson. Nope, oh, four speed and array. Uh, good oh, chunk of damage. Nice, take, uh, nice damage. In the roll that he wants. And so there, there is a force solution again on John's side, but I mean, at this point, you have to uh, you have to think about the cards that are left in your deck because you know milling five cards and. Drawing a bunch of cards every turn. So there's the the damage that could potentially take out Ray. So I think you just get get the damage in you you can. Yeah. So see if there's some mitigation here. Yeah. Nice deflect. That also works. So that's uh, going to be one damage. One yeah, damage. One yeah. Damage. On to Palpatine, and has a bonus of getting rid of one of his dice too. So. Increases the survivability of both these characters. Here's a discard for a reroll. And another damage side that Andrew has to mitigate. But uh, I'm not sure if he has the mitigation for it this time. And maybe if you don't have the mitigation, you just could do the. You just resolve as many damage sides as you can this turn. Absolutely. You take that. Well, it's going to be four cards and yeah. two damage. And you have two redeploy as well, right? So when if, if and when Ray dies here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Unpredictable. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, that's worth trying. Yeah. If you roll, if you roll a... Uh, oh, yeah. that's nice. Okay, that, that worked out really well for him. So there's two more actions with the force speed. Um, so yes. first one is to roll up on. Ah, maybe, maybe you don't roll up on. Maybe you just resolve it down. There you go. Good play by Andrew there. Uh, so first action looks like me playing a DL44 blaster. Do okay, why do that? <laughs> yeah, now, now he won't be able to resolve 
the damage if you roll out Han, which... No, don't roll out Han at all. Yeah, you okay. have the... Yeah, so you have the weapons from Ray coming if, over. If, if he rolls out Han here, that means that all John now has to do is just resolve that three damage against Ray. And now, kind of... So still, got, still got an action. Still got the action. Oh, right, because of the ambush, yes. Thank you. But, I mean, you're just using... You're losing the extra opportunity. Yeah. Because yeah. even if he does that three damage on Han, I think you still kill Ray to get access to this again. Yeah, so here's a... You just should remember not he to also wait, 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 He didn't have enough... The other unfortunate side effect there is because he's paid the money for the blaster, and have enough money to pay for the damage off the the blaster. That's okay. okay. It's always easier to comment on these things when you're not uh, actually in the middle of the game. <laughs> yeah, and I, I don't think I've seen John. Uh, I don't think he's a, a newer player, so of course uh, those those minor interactions are kind of things that are easy to miss. So there goes Ray, the two, uh, sorry, the, the bowcaster gets moved over to Monzilla, and uh, now we're sitting in a situation where I think it's, it's hard to tell who has the advantage here because you know Han, Han has the survivability with um, with the second chances. Um, of course, Palpatine, unless there's any sort of mitigation, can kind of guarantee four damage a turn, in addition to any range damage sides that he can deal. So going into the next round, John's deck looking a little bit thin here. So if uh, if Andrew has the ability to play defensively, maybe save up uh, as many resources as he can to rebuy second chances, uh, he might have the ability to uh, endure endure Palpatine's onslaught here. Now, but <laughs> John's been threatening Mill himself because you know, in addition to that sort of four discard turn he had a while ago. He's also rolled out two discard sides here. But Andrew responds with a override of a deal 44 with another one. Forces John to uh, choose one of his dice to remove. And uh, he does get another shield on Han because of that ambush ability there. And holds out. Guessing uh, John has a big ability in his hand. Otherwise, uh, I don't know that he'd be very to do the damage to that. Bowcaster rolling the special, which uh, wouldn't be as useful against a solo character deck as it would be uh, against many other decks here, but still damage is damage. Yeah. I just, I just you think he used the discard here that he has four cards. Yeah. Very smart. Okay. Oh, that's a second chance. Two, the fast hands were not going to come into play, and neither was the one with the four, so yeah. that's not so bad, but losing the second chance. So I think that was re resolving three damage on Palpatine. Palpatine now uh, sitting at 15 minus six is nine health left. Uh, does get his uh, force lightning now. Won't be able to use it this turn. Though. Oh no, he will be because he can roll it in with, uh, with the holocron there. There's another one damage. I see that there's a failure in here in his hand. Uh, I'm surprised that he didn't lose that communication. Uh, oh, so Andrew just drew his last three cards uh, after John took the battlefield. So, I mean, it, those discards might be a problem. Well, yeah, Force, because Force Push and Palpatine's dice all have discard sides on them, right? So, you know, John's plan now is, I think, just to, to try to mill them. And there is two, a two discard side. And uh, there's an electroshock in Andrew's hand, but, I mean, that's kind of like a, a Pyrrhic victory there. Because you're, you're still discarding one card effectively to, uh, to electroshock that. Yeah. Discard? So it, it, it might be tempting, maybe, to, for John to try to reroll to fish for the uh, discard size, but yeah, I think he's just playing it conservative here. Uh, no, I mean, he might as well get rid of the second chance. 
Well, no, what I meant though is that he's not, uh, he's not discarding a reroll, he's just like taking the shields. I mean, the side effect is that he has to get well, two damage, but... It is fatal damage if Han had more resources here. <laughs> so he can recur the Force Lightning. Yes, I realize. But he may want to... Oh, nice. Feel your anger. Getting rid of the... Looks like... It'll be a three damage. Yeah. Three damage shot. <laughs> <laughs> so that leaves Han with the uh, you know, decision. Do I, do I try to discard to, to reroll that bowcaster in the hopes of you got to do with this guy. You got to do with this round. Right? But I think does bowcasters non modified sides have uh, so, pay, are they pay sides? The force lightning he's going to be able to recur by discarding the, the blank bowcaster. Right. So right. he has a way to get rid of the card and do a damage. Yeah. You want to try to take that opportunity away. I think. Oh no, but it looks like he might have claimed here. Or maybe he's thinking about it? He's claiming. Because he Andrew's taking his turn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I just Yeah, I mean, Scorpio's a different So there's what? Uh, no, there's another pay side for uh, Blaster. I mean, if Andrew discards and can't kill. Can't kill uh, John with this this one last reroll, and he just loses here. But see, yeah, why why didn't he use the? He he, he, he could have just missed it. Um, you know, it's just I think that's it's an ability that maybe doesn't always always resolve. I guess so. It's just it's something that might be easy to miss. Uh, oh, just like a modified you know, a side. That's the problem, right? He just doesn't have the money. And I think that's it. Yeah, so, uh, so John with some really good discard uh, sides early on, uh, you know, in addition to, uh, I think, triggering Force Illusion twice on Ray, uh, was able to mill enough cards that it actually became a significant, or sorry, a, a viable win condition there. So uh, there's, a, there's also, to use one or two Force Illusions on Andrew's side? I believe it was two Force Illusions. I know there was one yeah. for three damage at least, so... Like the combination list. Do you play Star Wars Destiny? Are you looking for the last few cards for your collection? Are you trying to find the character you need to round out your tournament deck? VTTV has teamed up with 401 Games to provide you with 10% off your next order of Star Wars Destiny singles. It's pretty simple. Just go to 401games.ca and enter the code VTTVDestiny10 when you check out. That's VTTV Destiny 10 when you place your next order at 401games.ca for 10% off all Star Wars Destiny singles.